For this tutorial, we'll explore audio effects and how they can affect the entire file or just a portion of the file. Play the file and notice that it sounds as if it were recorded in a small room. We'll make this sound like it was recorded in a cathedral. Choose Effects, Reverb, to open the ExpressFX Reverb window. Click the drop-down arrow in the Preset field and choose Small Room A from the list of presets. Click the Preview button to audition the preset. We'll make this sound like it was recorded in a cathedral. Change the preset to Cathedral, preview it, and then click OK to apply the effect. We'll make this sound like it was recorded in a cathedral. Notice the file ends abruptly, which is unnatural. The reverb should decay over time. We'll make this sound like it was recorded in a cathedral. Choose Edit, Undo to remove the effect. Place the cursor at the end of the file. Choose Insert, Silence, and type 05 in the second field and click OK to add 5 seconds of silence to the file. Add the reverb effect with the cathedral preset to the file. Play the file and notice the reverb now has a more natural decay. We'll make this sound like it was recorded in a cathedral. You can add an effect to a portion of the file without affecting the rest of the file. We'll add an echo to the very last word. Select the last word to the end of the file. Click play to be sure you have only selected the last word. Word. Choose Effects, Delay to open the ExpressFX Delay window. Set the delay to 250 milliseconds and the feedback to 50%. Set the effect percent to 50%. Click the Preview button to audition the effect. Word. 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 Click OK to apply it and play the file. Notice that the echo only happens on the last word. We'll add an echo to the very last word. 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 To chain together several VST effects, create a plugin rack. Choose Plugins VST Plugin Rack. In the VST Plugin Rack window, click Add VST Plugin. Choose one from Dynamics and one from the Reverb categories. You can reorder the chain. Select the Reverb VST and click the Up Move button. This means the signal will go through the Reverb VST before moving to the next effect in the chain. Adjust and preview the effects as needed and click OK to apply the combined effects to the file.